Well, the Israeli government has responded to attacks on its citizens over the last month by deploying extra security forces to the streets. Human rights activists are condemning the beating and wrongful arrest and detention of a Palestinian man. That's an incident which was caught on security cameras. Stephanie Decker went to meet him in the occupied West Bank. Ansar Asi is at work. Outside in the street, there's a standoff between young Palestinians and the Israeli army, so he stops in the doorway. What follows is not often caught on camera. He came to me without any questions. He hit me and I fell. Then around five soldiers came and they beat me without any questions. I was telling them I didn't throw rocks. I was at work. It's as if I wasn't even speaking at this point. They were hitting me and trying to drag me outside. There's an illegal Israeli settlement. There's an illegal Israeli settlement just a few hundred meters up that road, and the confrontations were taking place around this area. Now, Ansad was working in this storeroom as the CCTV shows when the Israeli soldiers stormed in and started beating him. He was then handcuffed, blindfolded, and arrested. The next day, he was taken to hospital to treat his wounds. Ansar says it took three days until he was questioned. He still has bruising now more than two weeks later. Israeli human rights group B'Tselem, who released the video of the attack, alleged the police initially refused to check his alibi, and it took six days for him to be released without charge. It's the culture of, uh, of impunity uh, that we're seeing here. Uh, the soldiers probably uh, expect uh, that consequences for, for violence, such violence against Palestinians, will be remote, if even that. And indeed, one can imagine all of the other instances that uh, certainly take place all the time against Palestinians, but are not caught on video. The Israeli army says it is investigating the incident, and its initial findings are that the soldiers' actions are unacceptable. It's planting hatred and tensions between us and the Jews, and a person feels that he is not a human being. This is not humane treatment. If it was humane, then they wouldn't do that to a person. Palestinians say these kinds of incidents and worse happen all the time. And that it's only rarely when this kind of hard evidence surfaces that the world wakes up as to how they are treated. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera, Albida in the occupied West Bank. I'm the leading state sponsor of terrorism.